Hello, everyone. I'm just coming on a minute and just say that, you know, it was something that I saw scrolling down uh, YouTube. And it just was like the title, I think. And it said, why do God allow uh, bad things to happen? And why do he allow things to happen? And I just want to say that, you know, God does not try. The Lord Jesus Christ, he does not try to control us. He don't want to control us. He don't control us. He gives us free will to choose right from wrong. And it's up that choice, that decision is up to us to make. That's just like a parent. Uh, your parents can try to lead you and guide you in the right way. They can give you advice or whatever, but they don't try to control you to the point where they try to make you or force you to do anything. Um, you know, they try to raise you up right and, 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 uh, hopefully and, and, um, uh, give you the necessities that you need to carry on in life. And they try to, they want you to go to school. They want you to make something out of yourself. Hopefully this is where the parent, uh, a living parent will, will want the best for their kids. They won't want you in and out of jail and selling drugs and, and doing all this. They want the best for you. They want the best life for you. And so this is the same with Christ Jesus. He wants the best for us. He wants to provide the best in life for us, not materialistic, which he can bless those with material things, but he want to bless you with the spiritual things. He want to bless you with eternal life. He want to bless you um, with salvation. He want to give you his spirit. He want to want to give you the gift of the Holy Spirit, which leads and directs a believer's life. And of course, we're going to go through trials and tribulations in life. And yes, we have a have a free will to choose right from wrong, but we have to depend on the Lord and not the things that we're going through. We can't be swayed about the things that we're going through, the things that we are experiencing while we are here in this fleshly body, while we are here on this earth. So the Lord does not try to manipulate us. He don't try to control us. If if he's tried to manipulate and troll it, control us, there would be a bruise. There would be, you know, uh, wrong. And that's just like you in a relationship with your wife or your husband or, or boyfriend or girlfriend. And they try to control your every move. They try to control what you do. They try to control what you eat. They try to control uh, every aspect of your life from the clothes that you wear, from from everything. They try to control and manipulate, uh, manipulate you and try to make you be something that you're not or, or something like that. They try to make you be who they want you to be. Like they're going to force you to be this or do this. And and that is not what Christ wants to do with you that is not what christ uh has for us that's a bruise again that's a bruise and that's why he give us free will to choose the lord is not slack concerning his promise the lord is not slack concerning his word um and so he just want you to be able to choose he wants you to think for yourself he wants you to be able to uh, be able to choose be able to identify right from wrong like if I want Christ Jesus or not, do I want to live a holy life? Do I want to live set apart? Do I want to live a life that is pleasing to him? Do I want to dwell in heaven and, and be with my father? Or do I want to uh, be with Satan and continue to please my flesh, continue to dwell in sin, continue to sleep with this man that I'm not married to, or this woman I'm not married to, continue to cuss my parents out, continue to do this, continue to do that? continue to live a rebellious life or do i want to be holy do i want to be righteous like do i want to live for god do i truly have a heart that want to repent do i really want to repent of my sins and am i ready for this like these are the choices the lord give us he he give you the choice to eternal life rather that's eternal life in christ jesus or eternal life with satan in 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 hell and brimstone we all have a choice they're just like this if if a homosexual um uh decide that they want to repent from their homosexual lifestyle and come to Christ Jesus, he allows them to have that right. That is his will for that homosexual to turn from their sins and turn over to him, turn themselves over to him, and turn away from that sin, turn away from those things and commit themselves to him, that he may fill them with his Holy Spirit, with the Holy Spirit, that he may lead and guide them or bring them to all truth, you know, be the director of their life. That's their choice to choose to come out of their lifestyle of homosexuality or lesbianism, the LBGT, 
uh, I think I said right, community. That that would be their choice, just like a murderer or anybody. That would be their choice to to commit murder. That would be their choice to uh, repent from that murder and come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Repent and come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Make up in their hearts and their minds to serve the Lord with all of their heart and lean not upon their own understanding. And so, um. Yeah, we all have a free will. We all have a right to choose right from wrong. Even with, uh, you know, in the natural realm, they give us a right to choose uh, whom we want to vote for. <laughs> they give us a choice of, of, of voting. They give us a choice to choose, uh, you know, um, let me see. What we know abortion is a, is wrong. We know that boy, abortion is murder, but they give you a right to choose. Do I want to keep this baby? Ugh, that's a bad analogy to use in the name of Jesus. Lord, in the name of Jesus. If you out there, then if you're uh, uh, contemplating on having an abortion, I reason with you to repent. I reason with you to not do it because it's a murder and the Lord is against uh, abortion. Because... Um, he made us to 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 um be fruitful and multiply um of course in marriage in marriage one woman and one man in marriage and so abortion is wrong abortion is murder and no murderer would will enter into heaven unless he or she repents of their sins but all i'm saying is that we have a right to choose right from wrong we have a cho uh, a right to choose heaven or hell we have a right to choose the lord or satan we have a right we have a right we have to we have a right to choose whether we want to put on our seat belts or not and, and drive safely we have a right to choose what we going want to eat or what we want to eat do we want to eat hamburgers do we want to eat steak do we want to eat french fries do we want to eat salad we have a right do we want to drink water do we want to drink tea do we want to drink lemonade coffee or whatever we have a right so these is the principles that we have. This is the principle that we as believers live by. We choose to live by the word of God. We choose to believe and have faith and trust and know in the true and living God, the Messiah, the Holy One, the Holy One of Israel, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we choose to walk in this great and narrow way because the word of God said, uh, wide is the way that leads to discretion. And many thereof go that way of discretion, which, which leads to hell and and. I mean, broad is the way that leads to discretion, and narrow is the way that leads to eternal life in, in Christ Jesus, and there would be fruit that go in that road. And so, yeah, the Lord just wants us to be able to choose. He don't want to control us. He don't want to uh, force us to do anything that would not be God, that would not be, you know, love, that would be con controlling and working out of a spirit of hate and, again, manipulation that is not the Lord that is not the spirit of Christ. He have come to give us freedom. Freedom, freedom, freedom. Freedom from the life of sin. Freedom from the life of bondage. Freedom. <laughs> freedom in Jesus' name. Freedom. And so, yeah, we don't walk in bondage. Because he did not come to place us in bondage. But we have freedom in Christ. We have freedom, freedom, freedom. Freedom. In Christ, we have freedom. Hallelujah. We have freedom. And I love it. Because when I was in my sins, I wasn't free. I wasn't free. I was lost. I was bound by those sins. Like, when you and when you come to Christ Jesus and you give your life to him, you really begin to see that how bound you were to that sin. Because when you come to Christ, that that. You know, you're still tempted by the enemy. And, and the Lord Jesus was tempted by Satan. He was, The enemy was trying to tempt Jesus, but he had to cast that spirit down. He had to rebuke Satan. And that's how we have to do when we come to the Lord. We have to rebuke Satan. And we have to fight against that, what the flesh want to do, or what the enemy is tempting us with, to go back to that life of partying and drinking and stuff. We're going to be tempted. But we have free will to choose. Will we yield to that temptation or will we yield to the spirit of God? Hallelujah. Will we stay on the straight and narrow way? Hallelujah. To eternal life in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those that 
walk after Christ must pick up them cross those that desire to come after Christ those that desire to follow him must pick up their cross daily and deny themselves and follow after him and walk in his footsteps or we are we perfect in this flesh no we are not perfect but when we have the spirit of Christ the perfect one lives on the inside of us the perfect one guides us the perfect one leads us the perfect one instructs us empowers us to, to overcome the wickedness and empowers us to overcome temptation or uh, empowers Power to, to overcome the lust of the flesh, the pride of life. It empowers us. The Holy Spirit, not it, He empowers us and causes us to go forward and strive uh, for perfection and walk in holiness. Glory to God. So, yeah, we have liberty, we have freedom in Christ Jesus to choose right from wrong. Choose ye this day whom you will serve. Really be the Lord, Mammon, you know, your flesh, Satan, because all of those things, your flesh, um, Satan, Mammon, you know, you being led, you love money, you love the, the 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 lifestyle that you live that is ungodly. Those things are led by <clears throat> by um. Satan, those things are, are what Satan wants you to desire. Those things are what Satan wants you to walk in. But the Lord wants you to look, walk in love. He wants you to walk in the fruit of the Spirit. Ephesians, um, I think in Ephesians chapter 5 or Galatians. I think in Galatians chapter 6 or Galatians chapter 5. I'm not uh, sure. But I just want to say that you ought to choose ye this day whom you will serve and not allow the 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 enemy to try to tempt you to think that the lord just want to control you that that why um he he why is this happening that is happening if he god then why did he allow these things happen why he just won't stop it they're just like you go in and try to you know put your hand on a hot stove Somebody standing there and they saying, don't touch that. But you have a choice to, I'm going to put my hand on the hot stove to see what it's going to do. I'm, I, I have a choice to not put my hand on the hot stove and and have a choice at, um, you know, have a, have a choice at not being burned or have a choice at, at, at being burned and, and, and suffering the consequences of me putting my hand on that hot stove. So we have to choose right from wrong. We have to choose holiness or hell. So that's all I wanted to say. You all be blessed and uh, enjoy the benefits of the Lord and repent and believe in the gospel this day.